everyone welcome to save india's coast tonight on the show a shocking story of the complete disregard for the value of one of our finest ecological sites in the country the gulf of manar marine national park the gulf of manar consists of a group of islands off the coast of tamil nadu but now one of these islands no longer exists the island itself has disappeared and the waters that surround it have dried up because since the 70s this area has been used as a dumping ground for fly ash created by the Tamil Nadu power plant and when we spoke with the authorities at the pollution control board about this the officials simply shrugged accepting this loss saying there was no other place to dump this waste a regular site on Tuti Koran's Mulla Kambi beach dead bleached coral washed ashore all this in the heart of a protected biosphere reserve the gulf of manar marine national park this region was once known as one of the great pearl fisheries of the world over 3000 years ago pearls were one of the principal sources of revenue of the tamil kings kanimotti a resident of mullakambi used to go pearl fishing with his father today he dives for pearly white shells instead which he sells to cone shell bangle makers of west bengal for a measly 100 to 200 rupees a shell now even that is getting harder to sustain in the sanganave thoothukudi kadalil elukkapatta sange venmai nerathil irukkindrathu paal pondru venmai nerathil irukkindrathu indha sange visathanmaiyinal sevappaga maari irukkindrathu idhe pola dhaan indha pagudhil vaalakudiya makkalukkum konjam konjamaga visathanmai yeri varugindrathu home to over 117 coral species endangered species like sea turtles dolphins dugongs whales and sea cucumbers are known to frequent the waters of the gulf of manar consisting of 21 islands of the coast of tamil nadu the gulf of manar was declared a biosphere reserve in 1989 But now the coastline is getting to be better known as a hub for industries most of whom are using the islands and the waters of the Gulf of Manar as a dumping ground. A fisherman Johnson is walking on what he calls a graveyard of coral. 25 years ago Johnson used to anchor his boat here on Hare Island. The tops of the stilts fishermen used to tie their boats is still visible peeping above the ground. The rest has all been buried under 50 feet of fly ash dumped here by the Tamil Nadu Thermal Power Station. இயர்க்கே உள்ள ரால் வளங்கள் இந்த இடம் வந்து ரால் அதிகமான உலகத்திலே பார்த்தோம்னா இந்த இடம் வந்து ஒரு ரால் அதிகமான உள்ள இடம் இந்த இடத்து நல்ல வெளிநாட்டு ஏற்றுமதி செஞ்ச அதிகமான ரால் மீன் வளங்கள் இன்னைக்கு வந்து இந்த இடத்துல வந்து நூத்தி ஐம்பது வகையான மீன் இடம் அழிஞ்சிச்சு இந்த இடம் இயற்கையாக வந்து ஐம்பது மீட்டர் ஆழம் ஈவன் தோ தி டிஸ்ட்ராக்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஹேர் ஆயில் இஸ் சோ பிளேட்டன்ட்லி அப்பேரண்ட் தி அத்தாரிட்டிஸ் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் ஆர் பாசிங் த பாக் and it was handed to uh, handed over to fortress for management known as the rainforest of the ocean coral reefs form some of the most diverse ecosystems on our planet so they constitute less than 1/10 of 1% of the world's ocean bodies they provide a home to 25% of the world's marine life so while the destruction of the hair islet in the gulf of manar is irreparable the future of coral reefs will affect our fish catch along our coastline and so if not for conservation for the economic repercussions alone perhaps we should pay more heed to the serious problem and ironically the people of tutekoran where there is this power plant still have to put up with electricity cuts daily and regularly well that's it on saving their scores for tonight join us tomorrow for more same time different place for now good night NDTV's cricket app Android and iPhone faster scorecard special analysis and much more download free ndtv.com/apps